Hi friends, welcome back to Buttons and Bows. Today I have a huge haul for you. This is very kind of summer holiday inspired. Um, also, I just want to let you know, because I don't want anyone to feel like I've lied to them, they will not be a try on at the end of this haul. Ooh. I just wanted to let you know so that you don't get to the end, assuming there's gonna be one and there's not, um, but do not fear. The reason there isn't one is because I think there's gonna be so much um, for you guys to see that I want to get through that I don't think there's going to be enough time to be able to try it all on for you as well and I want to keep it as one, I didn't want to split the video um, so we've got Misguided, we've got Primark, we've got a little bit of River and Topshop and um, ASOS? maybe? yeah so um, as I say in favour of keeping this quite short or as short as it can be I'm going to try and run through like prices quickly um, but if I can't find it or whatnot I will try to link everything down below and have prices down below for you as well just I'm gonna stop shop I promise I'm gonna stop shopping soon um, I actually go on holiday tomorrow which will actually be yesterday when you watch this um, yeah so there is some holiday inspired stuff uh let me know if you're going on holiday what bits and pieces you've picked up and like always if you enjoy the video then please give me a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe wherever the thing is let's do this i'm gonna start with misguided so as i say for holiday i wanted to get um some pieces that i could wear to the port and then go out in afterwards so i'm going to ibiza so that explains a lot I wanted to get some pieces that I could wear um, during the day and then kind of go out in so like if you go to if we're going to like a bit of a pool party that we can I can then kind of not feel like I've got to go back and get changed or whatnot I can just kind of carry on so this is a place suit I believe yep it's a place suit so it's this white and sort of blue paisley um, it's backless and then it's got this um, um, I want to say hula neck that's not right Hula? No. You know what I mean. That ties. And this ribbon here is actually really long. It's probably like double the size of this dress um, or play suit. So it's really long for some reason. I don't know if I'm missing something here. But um, yeah, it's really nice. But um, it, for me, I've got quite big boobs. I like things to be quite tight. I don't like to think that something's going to pop out. So um, this sort of style of stuff doesn't really suit me. Um, I just don't feel like I can relax in it. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. The material's really nice. Um, does it have a price on it? No, but I know I do have prices actually, so I'll leave those linked down below. Um, but yeah, beautiful. next, also from Misguided, is a very similar theme. So again, this was a play suit that I wanted to be able to wear at a pool party or to the famous ocean beach and um, then feel like we could just go straight out afterwards because we're hardcore we're probably in bed by like 10 but you know um, and it's this beautiful white sort of cheesecloth um, it's kind of crochet material at the front here um, and it's got cold sh shoulder detail here so it would go on like this and your arms would just pop through the little sleeve bits here this is really nice, really comfortable, it's a play suit again, um, and yeah I just thought this would be perfect, there's a zip, goes right down to the bottom, really comfortable, and these straps, straps also adjust. I think I got this actually, yeah I got this a size up, um, because as I say I wanted to feel comfortable and not feel really, when it's hot you don't want to feel too um, like in tight clothes or anything, so I um, thought this would be perfect, and I really like this, really nice material as well, it can it's the sort of material you don't need to iron she's always a winner um, yeah beautiful really impressed with that next stripy little number again from Mis misguided it's this uh, sort of vertical stripe top the blue and white and then um, so it's just off the shoulder but it's got these little um, like spaghetti straps really like um, elasticated and um, they just sit on on the shoulder and then these sort of off the shoulder. I think this is a really flattering type of top. I love this top, I think it's really great. I think it looks great with white jeans. Um, I might actually, when I go on holiday, I might fly out in this on the plane because it's um, 
it's good quality material, but it's quite, um, I got it a size up, I think, did I? Yeah, so it's, um, it's quite loose fitting and it's just really comfy. Back to the whole uh, cover up, ready to roll out the door theme. I got this lovely tie dye play suit again, is it? Yeah, I think a lot of these are play suits. And um, so this might be quite hard to show actually. Um, so it's got this kind of wrap front um, detail, and then on the back. Oh, what's going on here? And then it's got this back detail, where it's all open, but it's got like this cross. Um, sort of spaghetti strap detail in there so I think this is perfect poolside or beachside and um, yeah again sort of like backless vibe going on here um, where I'm not going to keep the other one I'll probably keep this one um, because you maybe don't need both but um, yeah this was um, I feel like this was cheaper than the other two this was quite a good price um, but the material's not as nice it's good for what I want it for absolutely perfect I don't know how well you'd be able to dress this up maybe you would be actually I might be able to like a cool little choker in uh, trainers. Might be quite cool. Might be survive. And then the last thing from Miss Guy did is this very wacky bodysuit. So you can probably see the reflection of the camera in this. Um, so yeah, again, it's that halter neck, not hula neck, halter neck, halter neck bodysuit with obviously bits. Oh wait, does this open there? Oh my god! It's a pop up. Well, I never. That has blown my mind. Okay, so these pop up together. I don't understand why I would need to do that. Oh, so you can go to the toilet. Well, they've just thought of everything, haven't they? Anyway, backless. Obviously, there's a, there's a theme. Um, and if you saw a haul ago, I think it was the um, one where I included some River Island bits. Um, I had some white shorts in that, and I thought this would be perfect. Um, I'm going to try. On to, I haven't tried it on together yet, but um, if it goes, then I'll keep it. If it doesn't, then it'll be going back. But yeah, I thought this was absolutely crazy. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think about this. I'm fully aware I'm not 18 still, but um, I thought it would just be really fun and something different that I wouldn't normally kind of wear. So that's all from Misguided. Then I'm going to get on to um, a little bit of Topshop and River Island that I've got. So I did a bit of sale shopping recently and um, I went to Topshop. So I did browse on Topshop's website and there was loads of things and I was just like, I, c I can't buy all of this stuff. I was like, no, just I didn't buy any of it. It was really good. Went to Lakeside last weekend and just out of nowhere I just found myself in the rails kind of rummaging and found this little beauty which was in the original online basket and I, I was like well it's got it's in my size it's what I wanted it's a sign I've got to get it um, so again this is cold shoulder so this bit's cut out here pop your arm in a little sleeve there and it's just this really beautiful khaki um, orange orange animal print with this nice um, pink piping detail. I think this is really beautiful though. I've got shorts that went with it as well and I, I was um and an R in but I, I restrained. For me the top's easier to wear. Um, and then on the back it's just got a little keyhole and button detail. Really nice quality, it's kind of standard top shop to be honest. Um, little boxy number. And this was reduced down to £20 from 36 So I thought that was really great. And yeah, I thought a bit of a sign. And then I also found myself in the River Island sale as well. Um, I went off to get a card for someone while my friends were um, doing something else. And again, just wandered in there, in the rails, and um, found this. I found quite a few bits actually, but I put them down and just kept this one um, jacket. I wore this today actually, and it's so comfortable. It's actually a lot warmer than what you think. It's quite warm at the moment in the UK. Um, for us anyway and um, I was like oh this is only thin this would be perfect I was really hot and I've been hot all week so um, yeah really nice jacket um, this was originally 50 I've taken the labels off I think this was originally 50 and it was reduced down to 25 so I thought that was really great um, I don't know if you can see 
You can see all the beading detail on there as well. Um, it's really lovely. Um, yeah, collarless little jacket. So I love this sort of stuff. I think um, I just wear plain jeans, a plain top. Literally, it was this top with this over the top. And I don't know, I just think they really make a good outfit. Um, very easy. I think anyone can kind of wear this sort of style. And now on to the juicy stuff. Prime mark. Um, so again, I've got bits that I don't need, well I don't need any of this stuff to be honest, but I've got bits that were holiday inspired and some that I just wanted because that's, that's what I do. First things that I picked up, we went downstairs and we went into the footwear department. Now I'm a size 2 so I don't buy a lot of Primark shoes anymore, I used to but they are just too big, I can't really wear them. However, I saw these bad boys. And I just couldn't say no. But it says on the ticket they were £8. However. Oh, they were £8. Okay. Forget the story I was about to tell you. Um, these are a size 3. However, I'm like, well, my feet swell in the sun. And I'm going to be wearing socks and they're trainers. So they're not going to fall off. But um, I just thought these were proper Ibiza. Classic sort of thing. I, I really like this. Um, and you never know, I might wear it with that little silver and white combo. So, um, yeah, I thought they were great. And rather than buying an expensive pair of train, like night trainers or whatever I was going to originally think would be cool, um, I just thought these are just quite funny. And, you know, and even if they get ruined, I was worried about taking my road shoes because I thought they would just get ruined. So, um, yeah, I really like these. I hope they don't like because I really want to wear them when I come back. These are really good fun. I like those. I then picked up this uh, rose crown. So we will be visiting the uh, the forever posy ocean beach club. So I obviously had to uh, have a have a floral crown. Um, this was I think five pounds, which I if I had seen it was five pounds, I probably would have bought it to be honest. Um, but I just thought this was great. I like I really like the colours and um, again it's just a bit. Fun. Um, I really take kind of things like this too seriously, so um, I sort of be funny. Like I'll probably someone probably tell me I look like an idiot or whatever, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be uh, be quite funny. I've got um, like these little fake Dior, well they're so real sunglasses, the purple ones. So I thought that and these together, I thought would just be absolutely hilarious. In the same theme, I have a big hat. So I bought a big white floppy hat like this a couple of years ago, but it's kind of transparent and I do, when I wear it, I don't feel like I'm properly protected from the sun. So I thought this one, I've basically got my own umbrella, you know, what else, what else do you need? So um, this was really great and I just thought, you know, at pool parties and stuff, you need to make sure that you're out of the sun, that you're really protective and, or just wherever you are, kind of, if you're spending in, you know a lot of time in the sun you need to just make sure that you know you, you take a break every now and again so um i thought this would be great and you know without having to put an umbrella up and ruin all the uh, sun worshippers fun i can just be in my own little little bubble so again i think this was five pounds which for this i think sorry eyelash issue um for five pounds for this i think is actually really great um, mum was like oh i could wear that on holiday i was like no so, yeah. Next is um, something that I'm probably never going to use, um, but it's very anaesthetically pleasing. And, you know, I take a lot of Instagram photos. Well, I take a lot of photos that I'm going to put on Instagram and then never get around to doing it. Um, but I just thought this would go really lovely with it. And it's these beautiful rose gold eyelash curlers. These were only a pound. I really like with. Oh, yeah, they look, they feel very cheap. I really like the Primark ones. You get a spare um, cushion. I think that's great. Like, they're a pound and they give you a spare. Like, it's, it's fantastic. But, um, yeah, I just thought for Instagram pictures, this would look really nice. Um, and it's quite an inexpensive in prop, isn't it, really? So, um, I really like these. I, I, they, were in, they, were in the, uh, they were in the cube area and I just couldn't couldn't contain myself I had to have them other rose gold bits as well but I, I just I just thought one would oh pick myself up a little bra 
The, um, it's just a strapless one, can be made strapless. Um, this is my first ever nude bra. So I was with my friend, and she was like, oh, we've got to get, get ourselves some new bras. I was like, what? What are you talking about? She was like, well, on holiday, you wear like things that need strapless bras and things that you don't, you don't, you don't want to be flashing your bra. And I was like, yeah, I've got white bras. She was like, no, no, no. No, no. You can, you still see those. You need, you need a nude bra. So I listened to the wise owl. And at the ripe age of 24, I have a nude bra. Um, yeah, how much was this actually? A fiver, that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd include that. Uh, they still had some sale bits out in Primark actually. So, uh, this says it's a tenner, but I know it wasn't. What are you called on the label, my dear? It's reduced, 50% off, reduced down to um, a fiver, and it's this beautiful navy maxi dress with um, this kind of like, um, is this inside out? No. With this embroidery down the front, it's white embroidery, and then it's got um, these two splits on either side, and um, this tassel detailing as well at the front. I just thought this was really great. Me and my friend both got one. Um, and just perfect for holiday. It might be a bit see-through though because it is quite thin um, so I don't know how see-through it's going to be but um, I just thought this would be really nice maybe with some high-waisted bikini bottoms underneath just in case it is a bit or shorts or something if it is a bit um, see-through but yeah I just thought this would be really nice really flattering and for a fiver um, I don't think you can quite go wrong with that really. Then the real reason that I actually wanted to go to Primark was to get some denim shorts. Because believe it or not, I only own one pair of denim shorts and they don't really fit me that well. They're not, you know, they're not the most flowering and they're not, I dread kind of put them on, I'd rather wear something else. So I thought, right, I'm just gonna have to go in and get some shorts. So I picked up these. I like high-waisted, I anything high-waisted. Um, anything that's not high-waisted now, I'm a bit like, Oh, what is this? Um, my belly's poking out. Um, so I picked up these. I picked these up in a bigger size as well. Um, again, because I, I just my other ones are just oh, they're, they're so uncomfortable, and that's why I don't wear them. So I thought if I just go a bit bigger, you know, I can feel a bit more confident in them. These were twelve pounds, and I don't own a pair of black shorts. I don't think I've ever owned black shorts before, like black denim shorts. And these are really cool. They've got um, this sort of uh, orange. Um, Aztec print, so yeah. similar to the embroidery that's down that maxi skirt. This has got a bit of um, orange in it, and then it's got like these tassel, uh, rough tassel detail, which I thought was really nice. And then on the pocket, a little bit of distress um, look. So I thought they'd be really great. I also got a blue pair. This was the first pair of shorts I actually picked up, and it was just these again. I think oh, yeah, high waisted um, in a you know, bigger size than I would normally pick up. Um, again, like some fray in detail. But on the bottom, I like these, like the detail on the bottom of these. Um, it's like this crochet bit that overlaps, um, a bit of a floral type look at the bottom there. That I just thought would be really nice, a bit different. Um, yeah, I just think these would be quite easy. The black ones I probably have to think about a bit more, whereas these, you know, just your standard blue. So I thought they'd be really great. They were, how much were you? Oh, they're 12 as well. Okay, so they're... No. Telling me porkies, I'm sure. These were eight. So, I don't think they're in a sale. I think they've just been tagged wrong. Before I... I got this before I received the misguided stuff. And um, I was like, oh, I still just need to cover up. I can wear poolside and then go out and not feel like I have to do much to it. You know, something very simple. So I saw this. This is actually meant to be, sorry, it's been all creased up it's been in the bag. It's meant to be a midi for the average person. But for me, being my little five foot petiteness, um, this is actually a maxi on me. And I just thought this was beautiful. Um, it's got a little tie that goes round the waist, like, kind of like, like so. Um, and then it's just got these, it's high, kind of quite high neck, these little strap, um, spaghetti straps at the top. Um, same sort of square neckline at the back. And um, yeah, I just thought this was really nice. It's kind of, you know, diagonal stripes, the the black, a bit of orange, white, a bit of red, 
um, a good mix of colours there. Um, yeah, I really like this. And the girls I were with, they were like, oh, and my friends, they were a bit like, mm, I think my first one. And then I properly showed them and they really liked it. So, and I think they'll really like it when it's on as well. Again, it's got a little split just at the bottom. Um, but yeah, this is meant to be, a, if you're normal at all, then uh, this would be a midi, but for me it is a maxi dress. Um, yeah, 13 pounds. And the fit's really nice on this actually. I did try this on. And then lastly, I just want to show you something that I got from ASOS quite a while ago, but I haven't showed you, and it's holiday themed, so I thought I would include it. Which way are they? This way. No, this way. The last thing are these Gandhi flip flops, um, and it's in this sort of pink tropical type of um, print, and it's got a sort of like a plait detail band um, with Gandhi's on it, and it just says on here, Gandhi's orphans for orphans. I'm not sponsored or anything by Gandhi's or... You know, I just want to explain what kind of the the brand's about, the company's about. Um, I don't know exactly, but I think it's like a certain portion or something of all of the sales go to helping disadvantaged children in like um, in less privileged countries. I think it's mainly Africa or India, something like that. Um, I'm I'm not too sure, but I just know that um, it's a charity that's set up to help um, children in other countries. So. For me, that's quite a good cause. I, you know, I do like them. I haven't bought. I haven't bought them just for that reason. To be perfectly honest, I did just really like the print. They were on offer as well on ASOS, um, and I just know that they are. I know a couple of other people that have got them, and they're really good quality flip flops. Um, yeah, so I thought they'd be perfect. And also, they these are in a size two to three, which, as I mentioned, I'm a size two, so. Um, they're more comfortable than a three that literally flips and flops off my foot. So, um, yeah, these are perfect. And they actually, as you can see on my nails, I've got pink nails. So they go very well. I always think I'm not a pink person, but I think I am deep down. Anyway, that is the haul. Thank you very much for watching. I do know it's been really long, this haul. Um, I'm going to try and edit it down to be shorter. Hopefully you've enjoyed this haul. Please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favourite piece was or, you know, where you're going on holiday. Give me all your tips if you've been to Ibiza before. Um, even though, actually, I'm not going to see. I would have come back by the time I see your comments. But anyway, still leave them down below if you've been to Ibiza, what your um, favourite bits were. And, yeah. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.